Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, after some sunshine, the clouds are rolling in, but the atmosphere remains dry. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar verifies that. A little blip of green in between Norwich and New London, Connecticut, uh, perhaps uh, showers or sprinkles, but below the cloud level, the air is so dry that any raindrops that fall out of a cloud actually evaporate before hitting the ground. So I'm not anticipating any rain, at least for the early evening hours, though we do have some rain showers down the road. I want to share a picture with you that was sent to us actually this morning from the sunset last night and boy that is gorgeous we won't have that tonight because the clouds are thicker the ones that are moving in right now some light rain showers arriving later on this evening also the sea breeze is going to be a factor over the next several days and probably into the weekend bottom line the closer you are to the ocean of course the ocean is chilly the cooler the air will be the mildest temperatures over the next several days the further away from the ocean you go, and that's really quite typical during the early spring season. The, uh, the water temperatures are still chilly. Downtown Providence, cloudy skies and dry temperature at 53. Look how low the humidity level is at 27%, so it's really hard to generate any precipitation when the air, at least in the low levels of the atmosphere, is so dry. Live pictures along the uh, South Shore, Narragansett Town Beach. I got a couple of surfers in the water. Clouds are on the increase, but staying on the dry side. 46 in Newport, westerly at 49. So along the South Shore, there's enough of a sea breeze to keep the temperature cooler. Notice inland areas running about 6 or 7 degrees milder in the lower 50s. Satellite radar composite shows a little band of rain and even some snow across uh, upstate New York and Pennsylvania. This area of moisture will move in later on this evening and during the overnight. A few light rain showers. Could be a couple of wet snowflakes mixed in late tonight, but clearly nothing serious. So for this evening, cloudy skies with light rain showers developing later on. Temperatures in the lower 40s. And then any showers during the the overnight coming to an end by daybreak as temperature bottoms out to about 37. We'll start with clouds tomorrow morning. Later in the morning, we'll see increasing amounts of sunshine. 39 at sunrise, 47 later in the morning. And the trend during the afternoon, unlike today, will be for a decrease in the cloud cover, increasing sunshine, temperature topping up at around 55. The coolest weather near the shoreline, temperatures there probably upper 40s to low 50s on an east-northeast breeze at 10 to 15. The further inland you go, you've got a better chance of getting up to around 55 to 60. The northwest corner of the state will have the mildest air. There's no ocean influence out here, so upper 50s to near 60. The further east you go, because the wind is coming in from this direction, east coastal Massachusetts will be cooler. The further west you go, temperatures getting into the mid to upper 50s with a mix of clouds and sunshine. So overall Thursday, not a bad day despite the clouds starting in the morning. Uh, Seven-day future cast shows... Uh, some sunshine for Friday with a temperature at 57 degrees, up to 60 both Saturday and Sunday. Clouds, though, increasing later Sunday afternoon. Chance of showers Sunday night into Monday. Yeah, you see that big 7-0. 7 7-0 7 on Monday? Yep, it's not oh, a typo. Tony. It comes with a couple of April showers, but it's nice it's to fine. have. It's fine. It can rain. It can <laughs> rain all at once. We'll take it. And then uh, cooling off slightly Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So it may it's push exciting. seven. But remember, you got to be away from the ocean to, to experience that warmth. It's fine. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs>